Hey, it's Ron, and I'm here with Al. Al. And uh, it's been a while since we've done some CRM it's stuff. It's been a while. Yeah, it's just, uh, I keep doing all this SharePoint stuff. Um, I wanted to talk to Al quickly about upgrading from CRM 4 to CRM 5, or what everyone's calling CRM it. CRM 2011. 2011. 2011. CRM 5. From CRM 4 to CRM 2011, Microsoft. Uh, I think there's two main questions I just wanted to ask you quickly okay. so people get an idea of. The first one is, what are the main steps in doing a migration? Um, and then let's start with the assumption that I'm migrating, I've got CRM4 on-premise. Okay. And, and you gave me an example here of what you would do in a, in a perfect world. How would that upgrade process? I think go? so. Um, I think there are a few variables here, but, but to keep it quickly, let's talk about upgrading um, a 64-bit CRM4 okay. to 64-bit 2011. It, 2011 only comes in 64-bit. Ah, so if I've got CRM4 32-bit, I really need to get it to 64-bit yeah. before I can move and to CRM4. And there are a few steps involved. Okay, okay, so I need to go from my CRM4, first check, 64-bit or not, if yes. not, make it 64-bit. Absolutely. Okay. CRM 2011 only works with 64-bit SQL. So I need to make sure my SQL is 64-bit as well? Indeed. Okay, so I got that step as well. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, from there, um, I like to try and do these things in a bit of a safe manner. So if you read into the implementation guide for this um, that, that Microsoft will, will give to you or you can download, then um, they basically say you get your organization, you back everything up, which you should do, uh, and then you run the um, installation of CRM 2011 directly from the, the server on where the, CRM 4 is installed. On the production environment? Yes. <laughs> I don't like that idea. So what was the other... I don't like that too much either. Um, so I, I think the safest method of working with this is you've... Um, so basically, the, this is your environment as, as it currently stands. So that's my existing CRM4? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I think that you create a VM in the same Active Directory, so we, okay. we don't have to worry too much about the usernames in there. Right. Um, we um, build a new system there, and then we import the organization from here. Okay. We then upgrade this. So you what, upgrade or, or we, we do our upgrade work on this. Not on your production environment. Absolutely. Create a virtual machine. Do the upgrade, make a copy of your system in the virtual machine. I believe so. And then do your upgrade in the virtual machine. Yeah, yeah. And then you create a whole new CRM5 instance. Yeah, and you import the organization. And then you there. import the organization. Yeah. Wow. And so if you, you keep it the same AD, you're not really creating too much work for yourself. So I don't really need to worry about the data. Mm. I need to create the VM, make sure my CRM4 is 64 bit from yes. 32 bit, make sure I've got SQL 64 bit. Yes. Do my upgrade to CRM5, which overlays over top of the existing CRM4, and then port the organization over there. I don't need to worry about moving my data. No. Okay. And if I'm online and not on premise, this all just happens for me. Yeah, yeah, Microsoft, Microsoft will, will, will okay, but this press is the button and make that happen. Okay, but CRM4 on premise to CRM5, that's your upgrade process. Those are your main steps. The last question I had for you is Is this taking me a year to do? Is it taking me one day to do? Like, is it? I it's know it's going to vary. Is it's, it? it's a good question, and there's a lot of variation in there. It's not going to take a year uh, at the max. Well, two weeks, I guess. Right. But it's going to depend on the amount of customizations because we've got this layer here, which is just your. your we talked about your system and your architecture, so that's yeah. got to be right first. Yeah. Then we talked about moving your 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 actual system, your 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 con configuration and your data. Right. But then also, all that includes current JavaScript. Okay. JavaScript's going to be stored separately, uh, differently in 2011, so you need to see it, figure out how that's working. So your JavaScripting is a gotcha that might come in and change your duration. Yeah, yeah, and, was, and the, 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 um, the object layer is different as well. Okay. So, 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 so basically, yeah, you, you're going to need to, to look at all your JavaScript. When I look at this, potentially you could do it in two days, Cover your bases. Say it's, going to, say it's going to take ten days, two two weeks, ten working days. I think so. Unless it's an exceedingly basic. complex system, in which case, you know, on a case by case basis. Right. Right. Okay. Hey, that's good enough for now. Al, where can people find you on the web? Um, Ashton at knowledgetech.com. Excellent. Excellent. And it's Ron and I'm at knowledgetech. Thanks.